deadly weather. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch tonight for five southeastern states as a giant storm system moves up the Appalachians. This after more than two dozen tornadoes were reported across Iowa over the weekend. Pictures of the damage from these storms are amazing, but what may be even more amazing is that not a single person was killed. Here's Yunji Denise to explain why. Wow! This is going to be a violent tornado. They are dark, twisting tunnels in the sky. You're going to get a tornado right here. A funnel cloud coming down up there. Big tornado, folks. Barreling down with little warning. Cableton's in big trouble. With cell phones and flip cams rolling, the tiny town of Mapleton, Iowa was clearly no match for this tornado. Under clear skies, the reality is painful. It's just a war zone. It looks like a war zone. Sixty percent of this town was damaged or destroyed. This is Mapleton before the tornado. This is Mapleton today. Yet this war zone has no casualties. I thought for sure that we'd have more uh, injuries and people hurt. You know, we stacked 15 ambulances thinking that we'd had the worst and only used two. Only used two? Yeah, so that was great. Wind is blowing so hard you can hear it. Uh, sounded like That's a, largely because a of Sheriff okay. Jeff Pratt. From his truck, he spotted the oncoming storm. Huge dark clouds, a lot of wind, a little bit of rain. So you see that cloud, you make the call, what's going through your mind? that there were going to be people hurt, a lot of people hurt. And so we were calling for all of the help that we could get. That call set off sirens, giving residents an early warning. We warned people an extra five minutes that they needed to seek shelter. And what kind of a difference do you think that five minutes meant? We don't have any fatalities. So I think it made a huge difference. In this case, the sheriff was well informed. The National Weather Service held training sessions for storm spotters in Mapleton less than a week ago. And with forecasters calling for severe storms two to three days in advance, all eyes were on the sky. The sheriff wasn't the only one out spotting. Look at the green. It's amazing. Roger Hill, who makes a living organizing a kind of tornado tourism, also took a group of thrill-seeking spectators Holy into crap. Mother Nature's fury that day. Oh, my goodness. Strong tornado, gang. Very strong tornado. Roger, who's been chasing storms for more than 25 years, Hang on tight. We're going to get whacked. Says his company takes the storm chaser experience to another level. Some people think, well, you know, we're just you know, almost like ambulance chasers, you know, we, we go and, and take joy in somebody else's misfortune. And, and that's not true. You can never guarantee that a, that a tour will see a tornado. You're almost always going to find a severe storm. Last year, Hill invited us along on his final tour of the year, a 10-day multi-state adventure into nature's underbelly. Roger and his so-called storm junkies hit tornado hotspots really from close. Wyoming to Minnesota. Whoa, look yeah. at the rotation. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tornado. tornado right next to the road. Tornado. And when the twister headed to Mapleton, so did the Hill Gang. I'm always looking at data. I'm always looking at Doppler radar, watching the sky. These spotters are hardly scientists, but what they see and report to emergency centers can add to the chorus of caution. Oh, we have uh, one storm right to our northwest that's going to go severe and probably go tornadic. Spotters on the ground often confirm what scientists are tracking on radar. Boston Road, right in front of us here. That is spinning hard. Look at how fast that's, I don't think I've ever seen it spin that fast. It all adds up to setting off those all-important sirens, which Jennifer Gosler back in Mapleton heard loud and clear. She had enough time to grab her family and head down to the cellar. And we could just tell that everything was being ripped apart. We just said the Lord's Prayer over and over and over until it was over. We must have been terrified. Yeah, we were. Jennifer, like so many here, is trying to make sense of what's left. I don't recognize your house. I'm sure you don't no, either. Uh -uh. What do you see when you look at all of this? Just a mess. Just a, a big mess. And while this community rebuilds and the sheriff gives comfort to so many, Roger Hill is still on the move. After all, tornado season isn't over. I'm Yanji Denise for Nightline in Mapleton, Iowa.